Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Ontario, Canada. Um, we wanted to bring this video to you. This is the uh, start of our 53rd year. And that's, so it's this 53rd limited edition, which means we've been manufacturing recreational vehicles in Ontario, Canada, here in Mill Grove for 53 years. Uh, this particular unit, we've had a number of people ask, They've seen it had a large window on it when it had came out, came out of the shop originally, late last fall. Just didn't get a chance to shoot a video on it. We've been extremely busy. Um, but it's got a lot of our great features with the front opening window with the flush uh, stone guard built right in. This one, like we, I said, has the big window in it. He did add a 12 volt outlet on the outside, this customer, for maybe plug-in coolatrons and different things on the outside if they were off grids and he wanted to keep things uh, cool of that in the coolatron. Some people do ask me at times, you know, on our vents, on the range hoods, uh, are they recirculating? They are all vented to the outside. So when you are inside cooking in the units, they're all vented to the outside so you don't get a lot of smells on the inside of the coach. And this particular unit that I'm gonna show you on the inside here, it is 87 inches wide by our 24 foot uh, length overall, or it's a 20 foot floor. So let's take you on the inside and I'll show you what the big window all consists of on the inside. So on the inside of this particular unit, what this couple had decided to leave out is they didn't want the dinette or a coach or anything up here. They chose to pour, they call them, they supplied the chairs, we supplied the spot for the chairs to go. They're what they call a nursing chair. So they found them very comfortable for sitting in, but they also wanted it that they could turn them and have a table to sit at if they chose to. So this is a, just a portable table sitting here. It will have, has fold up legs that can go up against the wall. So it's completely out of the way if they don't want a table. I left it here so you folks could see what the table looked like with the two chairs here. And why they wanted the big window here is so that they had lots of visibility for seeing outside here. So they had a very open spacious in the front here in this particular trailer. Um, being that we added the large window here, they couldn't have the bunk at the front. So they've just got a very smaller cabinet up at the front here for storage and that because there isn't the room to have bunks and things at the front because of the window configuration. They still have lots of great storage that we've added here. They've also added a pantry up at the front here for storage. They've got their, they do have solar on it, so they got a Go Power solar system on board here. They've also gone with our, our color that has become very popular with a lot of our new trailers that we're building, what we call our designer series, where it's our frosty maple interior with our dark gray counters with a uh, wood plank floor. It gives it a very cheery feeling inside all the time. Even in a day like today, it's kind of gloomy out and very cloudy. With just the lights on in the coach, it gives it a very cheery feeling inside versus a wood grain pattern inside. We still offer a wood grain pattern on all our counters. We're just giving customers a choice. Something else they did to this particular unit, they went with a smaller bath. Normally we have our larger three-piece bath in this size trailer, so they've gone with what we call our shower toilet combo with the uh, vanity. And they have a little medicine cabinet up above here for their things. There's also a heat duct into the bathroom here, so our bathrooms because we do a ducted heat system, the whole bathroom is heated as well. So when the door is closed and then people go in to use the bathroom, they don't go, geez, the toilet's cold in here because you haven't left the door open to allow heat in the bathroom. It is all heated with other heat ducts through it. So being that we've left a smaller bath, they give it more of a Nile space here in the middle, which gives it the openness for the chairs. So once this table goes down and they store it up against the sidewall here, it gives it a very open, airy feeling on the inside of the coach. Um, on the back side of it here, they've also gone with just a, a 6.5 fridge, which is our standard fridge for the size of trailer. Dometic has also uh, upgraded their, their fridge units that they now have. The, uh, the lock is integrated right into the handle now, so when you open it, you don't have a push button on them. Um, same with the freezer. The freezers now, instead of the lights being up above, they're all integrated into the fridge so you don't have a light casting out once the 
freezer door shut. Um, but I think a lot of people are finding that they really like the new handle design and they've also put an LED light in it as well. Uh, from there they've just gone with our, our traditional three burner cooktop. We've got our 21 inch oven in it. And in the back here they've got a walk around queen with a closet on either side with a cupboard up above. Uh, there isn't the mattress in it right now because uh, they chose to supply their own mattress. I do offer that to customers that if they said, hey, can we buy our own mattress and put it in? I said, if you want to buy your own mattress and put it in, I have no issues with it. Um, if you don't like the mattress you added, you're never going to complain to me because you were the one that picked it, not me. Um, but I do offer mattresses if customers ask me to supply mattresses. I give them heads up that we like sort of a semi-firm mattress that's not too soft. And when we have supplied mattresses, most of my customers have reiterated back to me, we love the mattress so much, we want one like this at home. Where did you buy it, Brad? So we do supply a great mattress in it. And I think that the thing that people really like as well, this is a regular 60 by 80 mattress. It's not a special mattress. It doesn't have any cut corners. It fits all regular sheets. And people really, really like it that it's just a regular mattress. It still has all the storage underneath here. And being that our freshwater tank is slung underneath the coach, it gives them a big open storage spot here, along with a storage spot out the back here that's accessed from the outside that we sectioned it off. Uh, they, they opted out of the microwave, so we've prepped it for a microwave that down the road, if they ever want to add a microwave, we're just going to cut the opening a little bigger. They can add the microwave. The only drawback when the microwave isn't in it, when we build it, we have to drill a hole underneath the counter to bring a plug out and plug it in the counter. They will not allow us in our codes to put a plug in a cupboard that has a door on it. So we always have to meet codes that are out there. And give me a heads up on a weight wise on this too. Like I mentioned before, it is a 24 foot overall coach. Um, this one, we put it on the scales. It come in at about 29, 40, something like that, just off the top of my head on a dry weight. So it's very towable by a lot of vehicles rated for 4,500 pounds and that. So it makes it a good fit for that, that range of a vehicle. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you've got questions on coaches or you want to uh, get involved in ordering a coach, feel more than free to send me an email. I always look forward to emails. I also enjoy a telephone call to have a little input on something you're looking for. We always, at least when we're talking on the phone, we're always on the same page. So it's a great way to communicate as well, not just always by emails. So watch for more videos down the road. Um, We've got lots more great trailers we're building, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.